There are four reasons why 165 pounds is the toughest weight class this season. And by tough, I mean the man who comes out on top at the end of the season will have been tested to the max. Mizzou's Keegan O'Toole is the returning champ and the favorite to win at the weight. And there's actually one thing that makes him even better this year than last year. And I'll share that with you by the end of this video. So the first reason this weight is so tough is because of the sheer amount of national champions in the bracket. There are only two weights with multiple national champions returning. The other is 174 pounds with Mikai Lewis and Carter Starachi. But at 165, you have Keegan O'Toole, the returning 2022 champ. Then you have Stanford's Shane Griffith, who won the weight in 2021. And of course, you have David Carr of Iowa State bumping up from 157 to 165 this year. And on top of that, this weight also has the most number of national finalists returning to the weight with Quincy Monday, last year's finalist at 157, bumping up to 165. The second reason this weight is so tough is because of the age level. And you may be wondering, like, Josiah, how is that a reason for a tough weight? Well, I promise you I'll explain that by the end of this video. It's all going to come full circle. And to be honest, it's pretty key to understanding the toughness of this weight class. So there's only one senior ranked in the top 12. Most of the rest of them are actually sophomores. This includes Dean Hamidi of Wisconsin, Carson Hartzla of Ohio State, Peyton Hall of West Virginia, and Julian Ramirez of Cornell. All of those guys were young standouts last season, and with time and competition, these guys are only going to improve. The third reason this weight is so tough is because of the amount of talent. I mean, these guys it can scrap. Let's look at the few guys I just talked about. Remember, Carson Hartzell last year beat Alex Marinelli in a dual meet in the last period. That was just an awesome match. Michigan's Cam Amin also did the same thing at Nationals last year when he stunned the crowd by beating Alex Marinelli and advancing to the semifinals. And one of my favorite guys to watch, Dean Hamidi, actually majored a returning national finalist in pitch Jake Wenzel. I mean, that's just something you don't see every day. And I know it seems like a long time ago, but don't forget that at the beginning of last season, Cornell's Julian Ramirez came out and beat Shane Griffith by a close match. And if you talk about talent, you have to talk about David Carr. Yes, he lost in the early rounds at Nationals last year, but he battled back through the constellations to take third. That takes more than just talent. That takes true grit and heart. And he is going to battle test this weight. I don't know if you're doubting David Carr, but I know last year and definitely the year before that, a lot of people doubted Shane Griffith. Yet he won the national title in 2021. In last season, he made the national finals again. And you may know a lot of those regulars, but the fourth reason this weight is so tough and so deep is because of the red shirt potential. Guys, you may have or have not heard about yet, whether coming out of their red shirt freshman year or they took a year off last year and are coming out of red shirt. So I have three redshirt guys to watch out for. And the first of these is Holden Heller, who transferred from Hofstra to Pitt in this offseason. He was a 2021 national qualifier and really was right on the cusp with a lot of those elite eight guys. The second is Alex Facundo, or Penn State's newest freshman coming out this season. He's a four-time state champion from Michigan. And when I talked to Roman Bravo Young a couple weeks ago, he said he's excited to see him step out onto the map. We all know that Penn State's freshmen can have some success in their first season, and I think that Kundo can really make this weight interesting. The third redshirt is another four-time high school state champion, and Hopefully, he's going to battle for Kundo this year. That is Patrick Kennedy of Iowa. He was a top recruit in the class of 2020. And last year during his redshirt, he not only had a tough battle against Alex Marinelli in an open, but he also battled with Virginia's Peyton Hall to a tight sudden victory loss. So with all of that talent and all of those redshirts, you may be wondering who's actually going to win this tough weight. Well, Keegan O'Toole is still the favorite to win, and he's actually one step better than he was last year. That's because last year he was actually dealing with an injury in the postseason and he still came out with a national title. Imagine how tough he's going to be back to 100% health. But there's one thing that is working against him and that's the history of the weight. There has been so much turnover at 165 pounds. Since 2018, there's been a newer and younger champion 
every single year. First, Vincenzo Joseph upset Imar, then Makai Lewis upset Chenzo the following year, and of course the year after that, Shane Griffith upset really the entire bracket, and last year, Keegan O'Toole, he was just a youngster. And you cannot doubt those young and talented guys, especially at this weight class. I promise you that the rankings are constantly going to be shifting because this weight class is so deep. Now, 174 pounds may not be as deep, but it's still a battle up top between Makai Lewis and Carter Starachi. And if you want to find out who wins that weight, you can check out this video and the playlist of all my weight-by-weight -weight previews this season.